It's all about the animals and creativity at the fairgrounds today. It's 4-H day at the state fair and several kids from across the state are showing off their projects and livestock. First up, the rabbits. Our Mario Bowes shows us how 4-H though isn't all about agriculture. Like this young lady's rabbit right here, you'll see how nice and round he is when we get to it. Rows and rows of rabbit cages filled the sheep and poultry building Saturday morning on the fairgrounds. Over 250 kids, ages 12 to 20 years old, were showing off their prize worthy rabbits. So it's a great death of body, but she's a little bit more with the body. Lucas and I are brother and sister, and then our rabbits are brother and sister as well. So. I don't know, just a cute little thing. Our mom really likes it. These siblings competed with their Dutch rabbits, representing Dakota County. They'll be judged on the quality of the breed and how knowledgeable they are about their rabbits and how they handle them. And how we pose them, how much we know, how we take care of them throughout the year. Abby and her rabbit are representing Sibley County. All of these kids participating in the competition won their county fairs first, and then they earned the chance to stay in dorms on the fairground or U of M campus for the weekend. I met a bunch of people over state fair that you don't really meet like anywhere else other than here. Because my 4-H friends are some of the closest people and we get to stay together, show together, pretty much together all day. A lot of people associate the 4-H competitions with livestock, but the projects go far beyond that, including crocheting, which Allison participated in this year. I've also made other crocheted items and other crafts and fine art items. All three rabbit competition participants that we spoke to have 4-H passions outside of livestock. I've done a lot of shop projects, so like you work with wood and metal. I like fruit, flower gardening, um, food preservation. At the fairgrounds, Mariel Mose, WCCO 4 News. Performing arts and theater are also part of 4-H, and you can see the live stage performances tomorrow throughout the day in the 4-H building.